can we just, can we talk about it? 4.11 in the morning. Hey beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, we're friends now. What is wrong with me? If this is your first time here, I am TK, and today we're going to be doing my first anti-haul? I have to think of a cool name for this. I know Allie's is anti-haul or is it? I don't know, like, I was thinking about calling it, like, shit I ain't getting or shit I won't get or something like that because it rhymes, but I don't think you can put shit in a title. I don't know. Either which way, um, today we were going to be doing a anti-haul and I'm really excited for it. We need to think of a cool name for that. So if you guys can think of a cool name for it, let me know. Um, and I might consider using that in uh, future videos like this. Anyhow, um, I'm ready to get started. It's going to be a pretty easy, pretty short video to do. So um, let's start the theme song. Did you, did you subscribe? Or are you just over here watching my videos and not subscribe to me? Is that, what, is that what's going on? I thought we were better than that. Me and you go way back to a couple of videos ago. Like, come on. Come on. If you're not subscribed by now, what are you doing? And then after you press that subscribe button, go ahead and click that little bell. So that you can be notified every single time that I upload a new video. Because we have a good time here. We do makeup sometimes. We talk shit all the time. We laugh. With me, I hope. Or you can laugh at me. I'm not that sensitive. That's a lie. Either which way, if you enjoy your time here, you're probably going to enjoy your time again. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm assuming. I'm hoping. Anyhow, enough small talk. Cue the theme song. So all of these things that I'm going to be talking about pretty much are coming. These are just new releases that I am either considering getting or not getting. And I will give you guys a little bit of a reason of as to why or why not I will be getting these things. I think I'll go back like a week because that leaves like that'll leave like a week and a half worth of stuff to actually post for you guys. Okay, so. The first thing that I'm going to consider getting or not getting, we have the ColourPop Sonic Bloom palette. Um, I don't think that it's out yet. And it's looking like I'm not going to get it. I'm just looking at the color scheme right now. And it doesn't seem like something that I don't have. And it honestly looks pretty boring. Um, it's just a regular 12 pan and I don't see myself using pretty much the entire top row would be a complete waste for me like I wouldn't use it and then the other colors aren't something that I don't already have either like an exact copy or like a, a really really close dupe of so I don't feel the need to like get it it's not an ugly palette it just does nothing for me and I have palettes that can pretty much accomplish that for me um, oh also if I didn't say this before these are just things that I found on the internet. The majority of these things come from um, Trend Mood, Indie Makeup Hotspot on Instagram, and just random things that I also saw on Instagram. So pretty much most of these things came from Trend Mood on Instagram. Alright, so another thing that I'm not going to get is also coming from ColourPop, and it is this Tinkerbell collection. The Tinkerbell collection actually does look really cute. I just don't really need any of this stuff. I don't one. I don't particularly wear that many greens, um, and two. I already pretty much have these greens in ColourPop formulas because I have the I believe it's called the Meant to Be formula, um, and then this other green I pretty much have from my um, I pretty much I pretty much have all these greens, um, and then they have these blushes. I already have like a peachy orangey blush. Yeah, I don't I don't really see myself getting this. I think it's very cute though. Not, it's not that it's not cute. I think it's a very cute collection. I just don't particularly need it. So I can live without it. All right, next we have... Wait, what is this? Creator Revolution? From like six days ago. How did I miss this? <laughs> okay, so from six days ago, there was Creator Revolution. Now, wait a minute. The Makeup Revolution has like this... It's, it's an eyeshadow palette. Some face jewels. I won't be getting face jewels. But these Hydra palettes look really interesting. I don't have any Hydra palettes and I've been really trying to work on my like graphic liner. 
Um, I don't know if you guys can see my graphic line. Oop. Like, I'm really trying to, like, branch out. But um, I don't have, like, any hydro liners of any sort. I usually just take, like, an, like a palette from my eyeshadow palette that I don't too much care about. Scrape off a little bit. And then I use the Inglot Duraline. Duraline, I believe it's called. Um, mix that powder together. Or I like to use, like, for today, for instance, I use just, like, some colored base. Um, some color eyeshadow base and a thin brush. But I really do want to, like work on my graphic liner because it's just something I've been really interested in. So this little ditty from uh, Makeup Revolution looks kind of kind of promising, I'm not going to lie. I don't really need either one of the palettes, but I am, I'm probably going to get that, that uh, Hydra Liner palette. Yeah, I don't really need the lashes. And what are these? They also have like these like loose pigments. I don't really see myself needing any of those either. Of the entire Creator Revolution, um, I know that Revolution makeup is pretty decently priced and like they've never really broken the bank. I like a lot of their products and I think for a beginner like me, using their Hydro Liners will be really cool because ain't nobody got no money for like all these other brands of, hyd of Hydro Liners that like cost like a whole lot. And I think they're a pretty quality brand. So yeah, okay, okay. I like that. Next on the list we have something from Beauty Bakery. They came out with some, I guess, tubed glitter and, and a new brush set. I think their brushes are really adorable. I just don't particularly like need them. If I, I feel like their brushes are literally specifically for aesthetics. I can't, I can't prove that. I've never used their brushes before, but I don't really feel the need to buy these brushes in particular. They're not really saying that they do anything besides look cute that other brushes don't do. Um, and I pretty much have a brush like that all of, like for everything. And I don't really wear like glitter very often. It's not that I'm like not a fan of glitter, but like I don't really wear it that often. Not enough to, to get these. Like, hmm. It's just a taste thing for me. So, I mean, like aesthetically it doesn't really match with, you know, what it is that I go for. So I'm going to pass on that one. Next we have the got to be, wait, what? Oh, wow. Okay, so they have this got to be like edge control or brow brow gel. First of all, got to be is like it. Like anyone who knows like how well got to be is, like it's really, really strong. Has a really strong hold. Um, and it pretty much lays people's edges in place. And for those of you guys who are like wigs or like really tight ponytails and things of that nature, like people swear by got to be. I'm really curious to see like how this is going to affect eyebrows. Like I'm intrigued. I might get this be just because like, oh, something is in my eye. Oh, oh, where's, oh, what is that? Can y'all see that? Probably not. Anyhow, I'm really intrigued. I might, I might have to get this and test this out. If you guys want to see me test this out, I will definitely get it because it can't be that expensive. It's just brow gel from got to be. I, I really don't even use that many brow gels. And when I do use a brow gel, I'll just use the one from Believe Beauty, the clear one, just to like pretty much hold what little brow hairs I actually have in place. So that's really exciting. I want to see that. I'm probably going to definitely use that. Okay, so next on the list is from KKW, and it is a fragrance. I'm actually really, really excited to see. This is the, um, it's the Essential Nudes Collection from KKW. I've heard really, really good things about her fragrances. I know people are, like, really up and down, mostly down, about her uh, cosmetics um, and her eyeshadows and pretty much everything she's come out with makeup-wise. I've actually only heard good things about her fragrances. Um, I remember smelling one, the the crystal, I think they were like crystal gardenia or something like that. I smelled it like once in Ulta one time. I didn't end up purchasing it, even though I really wanted to. It just smelled really good. And I was like, huh, this actually does smell good. But I was like, I'm not buying anything from KKW. But I, that's just my ignorance, I guess, speaking in. So they have four different scents. And to describe it, it says, a collection of four opulent and feminine scents designed to pair with your bare skin and nothing more. $40 each. Or $140 for the bundle. Is that just math? That's just math, right? No. That's more than math. Four times four is... Oh, no. No, that's 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 a discount. That would be 160 
Issa told me you can't read. Okay. So you save twenty dollars if you buy the entire bundle. Um, and they have four different scents: nude sand, nude silk, nude soleil, and nude suede. And I'm looking at the notes of these. These actually sound really good. I typically like to pair my scents together or like layer my scents. I don't know if you guys watched my last video, but my last video, I'll just go ahead and link right here. But um, my base scent that I usually wear is the uh, Giorgio Armani C. But I typically pair that on top with like another fragrance. So these are meant to be worn on bare skin. They're only $40, so I'm trying to see. Are they like, I don't know if they're like uh, Eau de Parfum or Eau de Toilette or what but they look like they smell pretty good they come out september 2nd and i might have to go ahead and get one let's see i'm thinking that i like nude soleil yeah I'm, i might get one of these just because i'm really into like fragrances and smelling good and perfumes and shit like that so kim kardashian might actually get some of my money who the fuck it next we have Brow pencils from Makeup by Mario. I'm just going to go ahead and say that I'm not going to get it because I have never found a brow pencil that has ever worked for me, ever. Like in the entirety of my life, I have never found a brow pencil that I actually enjoy. I've tried some from high-end brands. I've tried some from high-end brands. I've tried some from low-end brands. Girl, not low-end brands. <laughs> I don't think people understand that I like I literally have black eyebrows. I don't know what people's disdain for black eyebrow products are, but I literally have never found a eyebrow product that looked like fucking eyebrows on me. They always have like an off black or a brown black or dark brown or granite or whatever. I've literally never found one. So I pretty much just use um, gel eyeliner like this because it's the only thing that actually shows up black and doesn't look gray on my skin. So, nothing against Makeup by Mario, but I'm just tired of trying brow products that aren't going to work for me. Okay. Who is this with? This looks hectic. Okay. So, BH Cosmetics did a collaboration with Iggy Azalea, which I feel should make sense, but it just really, like, seems weird to me. So, um, let's see. She's having a collection with them. I don't think that I'm going to get... I might. I might. I really don't see myself getting this, but it looks really cute. It just looks really busy. How many palettes are there all together? Okay, so she has two palettes, some sponges, some brushes, some glosses. Um, if I were gonna, if I were gonna get something, it would probably be the purple palette and maybe the blue palette. I'm not really sure. I don't wear too much blue eyeshadow, but it's because I don't really have that much blue eyeshadow. So if I do get it, like, okay. The jewelry's up on this one. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I like the packaging. I think the packaging is very cute. It looks some. It looks like something that she would actually wear or something that she would use. And from what I understand, she's pretty much like a makeup girl. Like, I know that she's like a hip-hop artist. <laughs> but, like, I remember that she did some collaborations back with He Who Shall Not Be Named. <laughs> Hello, sibling. <laughs> But I know that, like, she really does like makeup, and she's really into, like, cosmetics and things like that. So, I think that this makes sense for her. Um, and it's really cool to see her personality be put in a palette. Even though it's a collaboration, like, I I usually don't like celebrity collaborations, but this one doesn't really irk me because she, she fucks with makeup. So, okay. Alright. Next we have Mascara from Rare Beauty. What is it called? Okay, so this is called the Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. Perfect Strokes. <laughs> I'm not going to get this because, I mean, it's, it's mascara. And I know that not all mascaras are created equally, but I literally have, like, a bag of mascara that I need to go through. Like, it's, it's a lot. And most of these aren't even open yet. I'm pretty much, like very comfortable with the amount of mascaras that I have. And even though like I would like to try it because I actually really do like a lot of Rare Beauty products. I know people feel like up and down about Rare Beauty, but like I pretty much use something from Rare every single time I do my makeup. Um, I really like their liquid blushes. I really like her cream blush. I love the lip souffles. Eh, fuck it, I might get it. I just really like Rare Beauty. Like I know people are very up and down about Rare Beauty, but like it really, really works for me. <laughs> it's just a mascara. I like her eyeliner too. 
Comment down below if you guys want to see me do a full face of Rare Beauty. And if you do, then I will get this. If not, then I'll leave it be. How about that? Because I pretty much have everything that I need to do a full face of Rare Beauty. And I like Miss Gomez and her and her, uh, and her cosmetics line. It's really dope. Okay. Alright, next on the list is from Be Perfect Cosmetics. It is a Stacey Marie palette. Oh, Be Perfect Cosmetics x Stacey Marie. Didn't she do this already before? It says Round 4 Carnival. 45 shades for $55, 29 oh, um, I'm probably gonna get this. I've never had anything from Pe Be Perfect Cosmetics, but people, like, swear by it. I know, um, the Vivian has a palette with Be Perfect Cosmetics. I know people like the original Stacey Marie ones, and, like, I've, I've heard nothing but good things about this on TikTok and Instagram and pretty much everywhere where there are makeup users and makeup lovers. People love the, uh, Be Perfect Cosmetics Stacey Marie palettes. And I usually don't get them, but this one just somehow speaks to me. I've been really into, like, green eyeshadow lately, too. Flashback. I just don't really need any of this stuff. I don't, one, I don't particularly wear that many greens. End of flashback. And oranges, just in general. <laughs> I say wearing a full face of purple and pink. But this looks really fucking pretty. It's saying things. And I don't really want a big palette. Like, I just don't want to add a big palette to my eyeshadow collection but this is too pretty to like not get and it's only $55 for like and you're getting a lot of stuff and I see that it's really pigmented yeah I'm probably gonna get that <laughs> I really want that okay okay um two things from Makeup Revolution this is now the second thing from Makeup Revolution and it's Re Makeup Revolution XDC I'm going to try to be objective. Mama, this is garbage. This, this is a joke, correct? It's so ugly. I, this, I want nothing to do with this. And I love DC Comics. Don't sue me for all you Marvel heads out there. I just prefer DC Comics over Marvel Comics. I prefer Marvel movies, but I prefer DC Comics. When I think of DC and makeup, none of this shit comes to mind. I don't think I like anything from this entire spread. They have one, two, three, four nine pan palettes, one 18 pan palette, and I'm assuming this is supposed to be a face palette, a brush set. I don't want this at all. I just don't really get that color scheme though. When I think of like the Joker, I think of like purples and greens and like reds and they gave me like yellow and blue and orange. I just don't understand who they consulted when they was doing this. It just... It doesn't really match the characters that they said. Like, the packaging does, but the actual colors... I don't really get Joker out of any of that. I don't know where they got this color scheme from, but... I'm not liking that. The Harley Quinn one, the same. I don't really get Harley Quinn from these colors. Like, they, they gave a bunch of, like, pastels and pretty colors and blues. And even though, like, I know that the new Harley Quinn, she's, like, you know, colorful or whatever. Like, the Harley Quinn that I know is, like, reds and blacks and darker colors. And this is just... This just isn't it. Like, I don't understand what they were thinking when they put this together. When I look at the color story of the actual makeup in there, because that's honestly, like, what I care about. Like, packaging is cute. Yada, yada, yada. We love packaging. But, like, I care about the actual makeup. So when I think of Harley Quinn and when I think of the Joker, I don't think of any of these colors. Like, it just doesn't do anything for me. And I really feel like they missed the ball here when it comes to the essence of, like, DC Comics. Because, like I said, I love DC Comics. Yeah. This, this isn't it for me. Alright, next we have Under Eye Powder from She Glam. I don't own anything from She Glam. I hear good things about it. And it looks like they have a pretty decent shade range for Under Eye Powders. These look really... These actually look really nice. I'm not going to lie. Um, these are called the She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powders. These look beautiful. And they come with cute little sponges that look like uh, peaches. Um... I've wanted to try She Glam for a while. So my friend Alicia uses a lot of She Glam products and they look really good on her. She actually has a YouTube channel. I will link it up right here. Oh, I did it right the first time. They seem to like really work, but I've never really seen some of my complexion use She Glam as hard um, or as frequently as some people use. So I really do want to try it. 
Um, I've, I've wanted to do like a full face of She Glam because I've seen like Manny MUA do it and like some of my friends really like She Glam so I want to try it out just to see what it's like and I just think that these sponges are super cute like so I want to see what it would look like on someone like my complexion just because if I can find affordable makeup like that then like I'm really here for it because I really don't have the money to be spending on like all these makeup products that I've been using lately <laughs> and that I've been purchasing lately um, but I, I feel like it's my job to like try new things out and try different techniques or whatever to like bring to you guys to see what you guys like and I don't know why I care about how cute these sponges are because I ain't gonna do if I if you guys see my makeup sponges disgusting like it doesn't even matter how cute the makeup sponge is but something about this ombre peach one just looks so cute and I kind of want it yeah it looks really cute I'm, I'm probably gonna get that <laughs> all right if you guys follow Allie Dawson you know what I'm about to say <clears throat> say it with me are you guys ready we're gonna say it all together Another day, another color pop. Okay, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing that on my channel. Okay, anyhow, um, there's another uh, color pop uh, palette coming out. It's called It's a Mood, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I probably want it. Um, I don't really have a lot of color pop um, palettes, but of the ones that I do have, I really like their big pan palettes. Um, I love the Bare Necessities palette. I love the Stone Cold Fox palette, and that's pretty much all that I have um when it comes to like their 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 larger eyeshadow palettes but this it's the mood i mean it's saying things to me i love the jewel colors in there i'm not sure if those are pressed glitters but if they are pressed glitters i'm gonna try to get into them just because i think it's a really pretty palette and it doesn't really look like it will and it doesn't really look like it will transition into fall but i think it's very cute anyways yeah it's it's saying things to me like i can see myself using this palette because I'm starting to get back into color now which is really exciting because I was a I was really into my neutrals like those neutrals had a chokehold on me lately I am delivered I will get it only because even though I just said I didn't want another big palette I'm starting to get back into eyeshadow palettes and this is actually really cute I can see myself wearing it I like the dimension that the palette gives I love the color story so Colourpop can Colourpop can go ahead and take that coin for me I'm gonna I probably want that one yeah Next we have something from Too Faced. It's the Cinnamon Swirl Collection or just the palette. I don't want any of those lipsticks. I'm going to tell you that right now. One, because I don't particularly need another lipstick. Like, I have plenty of lip products. I have an abundance of lip products. So, um, I'm probably not going to get any of the lip products. And when it comes to the actual palette itself, it just looks very boring to me. One thing, though, it probably actually does smell like cinnamon. And something about cinnamon smelling things next to my eyes really fucked me up. Like, I know that Too Faced is really known for scenting their, their products or whatever. My best friend used to have their Coco Contra palette that actually smelled like chocolate, which I thought was kind of cool, but that's like your face, so it's different. Something about, like, and there's no proof that this is actually happening, but I just feel like this eyeshadow palette's going to smell like cinnamon and fuck with my eyes, and I want nothing to do with it. And the color story is honestly kind of boring. Like, I can't use, like, over half of this palette. Like, over, this half, over half of this palette would do absolutely nothing for me like color wise like it, pro it it literally doesn't look like it would show up it'll just look like ash so it's i'm just gonna pass on it because it looks incredibly boring the swatches look very boring there's nothing that like even in these swatches there's nothing that even looks remotely like my skin tone or like it would work on my skin tone it's just it's just a no for me we have a new palette from natasha denona coming out called the retro palette and it is a cool toned pinky palette. It looks like the Love palette except more cool toned. Um, mauve -y, I guess. It's very pretty. And I actually, I don't know. Like, do I want it? Yes. I have two Natasha Denona palettes. I have the Circle Local palette, which I use way too often. Um, it's like probably one of my favorite palettes. I know I put it in my summer favorites and I still like wear it a lot. And it's just really cool toned, very pretty. I mean, I have cool toned pink palettes already. Do I particularly need this palette? No, but I really do like the Natasha Denona formula. Um, a little bit goes a long way. It doesn't really have that much fallout, and I always get compliments on my makeup when I use it. So, yeah. I might actually go ahead and get this. $65 Natasha Denona palette. I actually really like her formula. I've been gifted both to, I've been gifted both of mine, but I think there's time for me to like grow up and like buy my own. So the Natasha Denona Retro palette seems like something that I might add to my collection. Just because I really, really like that formula. I don't know how long that thing wasn't recording, but 
Color Range just came out with four new cream blushes. They're $16 a piece, or you can get all four of them for $70. And I think they're really cute. Like, I've never tried anything from Color Rain. And I really, really, really love cream blushes. Um, I'm on a hunt for, like, all of them. I have a lot of cream blushes. They're, like, pretty much one of my favorite parts of my makeup application is the cream blush because it looks so pretty. I like to wear cream blush underneath. So it looks like it's actually coming out of my skin versus sitting on top of my skin. It just makes my skin and makes my complexion look a lot better. Um, they have really interesting colors, too. I'm really excited because people are shaking shit up and I've literally never seen a cream purple blush before. So I might have to go ahead and get myself one of those. They're only $16 a piece. Would I get all four of them? No, but I will probably get this really deep orange one because I love me a deep orange blush. <laughs> um, and probably going to get this purple one called Butterfly. They look really cute. And um, okay. Well, that is it for this video. I hope that, like, this turns out okay. There we go. Um, I feel like I looked at my phone more than I looked at the camera, but I'm going to probably post this one anyways. I need to find a really cool name. I don't know. I really like shit I'm going to get, but I don't feel like that's going to, like, go over too well. But, like, I don't know. If you guys can think of any, like, names inside of the anti-haul, um, to, to call this, like, anti-haul thing, or whatever, then let me know in the comments below. Yeah, this was really fun. I think this is going to be a quick video. I hope it's a quick video. I feel like I recorded it quickly, but who knows, knowing me, like, my videos always end up long because I end up talking too much like I'm doing right now, and then I start talking about talking too much. Wow. Anyways, um, let me know some of the things that you guys either are going to get or not going to get. If there's anything that I missed or anything that you guys would like to see me get, then let me know in the comments below. Doesn't mean I'm going to get it. But I want to know what you guys, like, want to see because I think that I'm doing good lately. Am I doing good lately? It sounds like I'm fishing for a compliment. <laughs> I kind of am. If you like this video, if you like this content, if you like me, then make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful. <laughs>